your big screen collecting dust, you know, your TV while you play games on your PC, we can change that for you real quick by routing the video signal into your television from your PC. But unless you've got a video card with TV out capabilities, you'd probably want to use something called a scan converter. And all that does is split the video signal from the monitor to the TV. In fact, this is a nice scan converter we've got sitting right here. See, it's nice, small, simple. And if I turn it around, I will show you. Let's see, if you've got the power. You've got a couple of ways to input the video. You've got just a regular RCA component. You've got a VGA cable. You've got an S video. So there are many ways you can get the signal in from your computer screen, from your computer monitor into here. And then this will feed it out into the television. So again, a scan converter, one part of it takes care of the computer side of things, and the other part of it, the other signal, is converted into NTSC, that of course is television. Now the better the converter, the better quality image you'll get, but for the most part, you're not going to want to do things that are very text intensive. So you're not going to want to do word processing, you're probably not going to want to be doing stuff like email or even surfing the net. But if you want to play games, this stuff is perfect. Now they make all shapes and sizes and all prices. Buy one that you can afford. They'll average around a hundred bucks. And what we have connected here is from my laptop. But again, you could use just a regular desktop machine if you wanted to, too. As long as you've got the right component in the back, a nice S video out or just a VGA out, your video card, which is what we've got here, the VGA out. Going into the scan converter, then going around into the television. And what you see on this screen is what I see on my screen on my laptop. So as I said, it's really nice when you want to play some games. So we're going to launch one of my favorite games, Tux Racer. Press any key to start. Let's practice and race. Lovely sound on this thing, too. And see, the great thing is, is, is now instead of everyone gathering around the computer screen, you could gather around the television. And of course, the bigger the television, the better image you're going to get, or at least the bigger image you're going to get. So I'm racing around and playing, and you can play anything you want. And I'm just going to leave Tux B here for a bit. Let me exit out and take you behind the scenes so you can see the professional grade scan converters that we use here on Call for Help. You know, the ones that we use to get the video signal into our screen. So when you see me normally typing away at the computer right here, and, the, and you can see what's going on back here, we use a scan converter for that. So follow me into the back, into the lab, where you get to see the guts, the heart and soul of our show. In fact, these are the computers that we use. Right here on the bottom of the floor, lined up down there, that's how we flip between them. You see that little blue thing pop up every once in a while? I tap it in the blue thing and I switch computers. That's called that virtual KVM. That's something else I'm going to show you in the back, but you have to follow me. Let's go right through the doorway. That's what we call it here, and that's a television lingo thing for, you know, a portal into another room. And, oh, speaking of, here's our serial port. All right, right back here. But back here, again, is where all the video signals are fed into it. These are our scan converters. Again, very professional grade, not exactly $100, a little more than that. But it looks a little different. You notice we've got about five cables or so running into them, including this is our input, so our video in signal and then video out. And then the down below, you see those uh, the, the cables again. RGB splits the signal so that each color is crystal clear, perfect for television. So again, it's expensive. We're getting a better quality image, but that, that delivers a better quality image to you at home. So what are these yellow and white the, uh, the cables for? That's for the vertical and horizontal scan frequencies so that you don't see any weird refreshing going on. You ever watch television and you look at a monitor and, and, and you see this line going up and down? That's, that's the problem, is that they're not scanning correctly. But this takes care of it all. And that blue thing that I was telling you about that allows us to switch between computers, that's what we call Oscar. This is Oscar right here. So down here, we've got our video cables and our mouse cables and our keyboard cables all connected in here. And this KVM, keyboard, video, mouse, allows us to control all the computers using just one keyboard, video, and mouse. That's how we do it. That's Oscar right here, completely separate from the scan converters, which makes the video signals nice and clean right here behind the scenes of Call for Help. Now, behind the scenes over on the screen savers, oh, wild animals keep out. Yeah, you got to be careful with those guys. You can be a little crazy. But we've got all the information for you if you want to start converting your signals from your computer into your TV so you can see the big picture over on our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Coming up next, though, we're going to fire up the big board, and someone's going to take on the Wired World Challenge. Will we have a winner today? Let's stick around and find out.